Welcome to Voice of the Covenant Bible Study. I'm glad you're with me today. I hope you've been enjoying it all month. We've been just going deep into the Word of God, and today we're going to go even deeper. So let's open in prayer. Father, I thank you for your Word that brings, brings peace, it brings life, it brings strength, it brings encouragement, it brings everything that we need today. Lord, I pray for every person that's reading and studying along with me that you would open their eyes, open their heart to receive exactly what you want us to have for today. Lord, I thank you that we're growing stronger and greater in our relationship with you and our understanding of your word every time we come together. Lord, I pray your blessing on the study time today. We pray it to, to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, let's turn in our Bibles to Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 again. You know, all this month, we have been releasing the power of God's word by declaring it. And, and we're going to read in Philippians chapter 4, just start off in verse 13. I hope you're already there. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Each time you say God's word with your mouth and believe it in your heart, it releases God's power and strength to do anything and everything. He is with you and never leaves you or forsakes you. So you're not alone when you set your expectation and aim for your best. It's actually his idea. You have a living word, a living faith, a living grace, and living power inside of you right now. Let's turn to uh, the next verse in our study, and it's 1 John chapter 4. We're going to read verse 4, and that's the little Johns toward the back. <clears throat> 1 John 4, 4. You know, you can release God's power when you talk to yourself and say good things like, I will complete my destiny, reach my destination, and all my great expectations will bring about great results. You can say great things like that. You can say, I'm bound for heaven, but Jesus is with me right here on earth too. I'm never alone. I love to make great affirmations. You can continue to say that. Say this like this with me too. I'm getting stronger in Christ today than I was yesterday. I'm growing. I'm learning. I'm speaking God's word and believing for great results in this life. You know, God will give you these things to say. And all of them are based on his word of God. But it helps you to put yourself in the first person and declare what God's word has said about you. And a great verse that, that really declares that, that will help you today, is in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. We're going to read that right now. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You know, courage comes when you know and confess this verse for yourself. I like to say it this way, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You know, Christ in you, the hope of glory, will only cause you to become the best version of yourself. Christ will give you the strength to live as the purest version of yourself. Without the baggage of fear, you'll be able to extend faith and actually walk in love every single day. You know, and without the baggage of guilt or shame, you'll be able to live each day with such freedom. It will just transform you. And, you know, and everything that Christ died to give us and free us from makes life better. He came, he, the Bible tells us, to have good, a good overcoming life, an abundant life. So we've already won, and each of us has a personality that was created by God on purpose. Each of us is like a facet of his personality walking on the earth. I want to ask you this. What facet of God's personality would you like to reflect on the earth? Think about that. You can scatter seeds of quiet exhortation in your own way and let your faith rise. Know that your personality is wonderful and perfectly suited for your destiny. So don't talk badly about yourself. Some people like to say that they're part of the body of Christ, but they're just the armpit. No, you are, God has great plans for your life. Every part of the body is so very important. You may, some may be part of like a little finger or you could be the head or the foot or whatever. Some people say they're the bunion on the bottom of the foot. No, you're part of the body of Christ and God has strategically created you just the way you are. So have great expectations in God and in yourself. If you do, you're going to find out that due season shortens up and the progress and the results of your great expectation will come quicker or it, it, the waiting time will be easier because you'll have no anxiety surrounding your goals. It'll transform your outlook in life and you'll have contentment, strength of heart, knowing that all things are coming to pass. 
Whether you see it now or not, you can have a peace in your heart knowing that because you prayed it, because God said he'll do whatsoever, you can have whatsoever you pray. And you know, when you start living like that, knowing that you can do all things through Christ and speaking it, you just might hear the Holy Spirit inside of you say, amen to that. God, you know, God is right here with you. You may not hear him in the natural, but the Spirit of God is hearing everything you say. And I, when you speak his word, he agrees with you. So you can stir up the gift of God and choose faith over doubt and activate more courage. And that's when your expectation becomes like a force into itself. It will motivate you to stand taller, feel more confident, and inspired to continue speaking the word of truth. And you will rise above the earthly things that you get bogged down in usually when you set your mind in line with your spirit instead of just with your natural eyes. Every word you speak that lines up with God's word is a seed you sow with your mouth. So we'll think about what you're saying today. When you put more word seed into the ground, instead of thought seed, if your thoughts are not lined up with the word of God, when you put more word seed in the ground, more of what the word brings is what's going to spring up in your life. So you can decide what, you, what crop you want to grow. What's, that's more peace, more joy, more power, more blessings, and more opportunities. In other words, more results. And that's what the Word of God wants to bring to your life today. Most people don't realize that Satan is a flesh devil. Do you know that you can say something that he just can't believe? You know, you have a living word, a living faith, a living grace, and a living power inside of you. He has nothing. Remember 1 John 4, 4. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Let's focus on that word greater because with Christ, that's what you are. Focus on who is inside of you and his greater power more than anything outside of you. When you do, you'll be able to produce greater expectations which lead to greater results. That's so true. You know, you can't generate your own spiritual power, but through Christ, you are given power as you need it and as you stay in touch with him. And this spiritual power is not generated within you, but is given to you by staying in touch with Christ that's in you, the hope of glory. I love that. It's such a powerful truth to know that God is with us. And because he's with us, we can do everything. We're the greater one lives within us. You know, the blindest believer is the one who has no use for their faith. But your faith was not given to you to be stagnant. Faith is alive and so are you. So never exclude God from your thoughts. Stay close to his truth. Practice it and live by it. Just accept that you can't generate spiritual power on your own. And just like faith is something that you receive as you hear the word, spiritual power is something you receive as you stay in touch with Christ, lean on him, and receive his strength moment by moment. And if you want to do all the things that God's put on your heart, stay close to the one who can give you the strength that you need to accomplish those things. So don't let yourself or your faith be stagnant. Let it, let it be a joy to stay close to Christ every single day, everywhere you go. And every day, grace comes in to help us. And faith shows us how to appropriate that help. We are never alone. Every life matters to God. Always have great expectation over everything you do and every seed you sow. Remember that results are your destiny and the Lord is with you every step of the way. And that's a great life that he has planned for you. I hope you've enjoyed our study this month and this week. It's been so rich. I hope you've learned something because God has a great plan for your life. And, but it comes, it comes from him, but we have to realize that through him, we can do all things. We're going to repeat our affirmations. This week we have two. Let's say these together. Number one, every word I speak is a seed I'm sowing. I speak well and live well. Everything here is temporary, but I'm making eternal memories with my faith, love, grace, and joy. I'm eternal. Number two, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I'm completing my destiny and reaching my destination. All my great expectations get great results because the Lord is with me. 
Let's close in prayer. Father, I thank you for your word. Lord, I thank you that we're being transformed every time we declare your word and speak it and believe it with our heart and say it with our mouth. Lord, I pray for every person that's watching that they'll receive everything that they're expecting, that they'll receive the great results that they've been declaring. And Lord, I thank you for new dreams and new visions that you're exploding into their heart even right now and that that ability to do it is there as well. We pray this together in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all things Jesse Duplantis Ministries. God bless. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries consent is strictly prohibited.